Good evening and thank you for choosing KIMA Action News Live at 6. I'm John Kennedy O'Connor. PETA is providing empathy learning materials to students in the Yakima School District following a string of brutal dog killings in the valley. Reporter Alana Martinez speaks to PETA's Humane Education Coordinators about how these resources could help prevent future violence towards animals. If we really want to make our community safer for everyone, we have to take every act of cruelty to animals seriously. From March to May, five dogs in the Yakima area were found dead and showed signs of abuse, including starvation and blunt force trauma injuries. In August, another dog was found fatally shot. The two most recent dogs were recovered in this area on Buena Loop Road in Zilla. One of the poodle mix dogs was found unalive, laying in a pool of blood. The other one wasn't in much better shape, but was alive and is now safe. These reports prompted Teach Kind, PETA's Humane Education Division, to send an urgent letter to Yakima schools offering to provide empathy learning resources. In this particular case, we reached out to the Yakima School District who actually responded to us and um, they were shipping out some books to them this week, which is very exciting to be able to work and develop a relationship with them. Studies show children who learn empathy tend to grow into kind and compassionate adults. The kindness to animal materials that PETA is sending are both in English and Spanish and free of charge, so it won't have any burden on the school's budget. Children are naturally very empathetic and by giving them engaging materials that help foster empathy in young students. We're helping them to understand that their choices and their actions towards animals, they matter. This helps kids understand that they have an important role in preventing future acts of violence too. Well, it's certainly good to hear preventative action is being taken. Thank you so much, Alana, there for that report. May the new year be blessed with good If we must say goodbye, let the spirit